everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here to do um, just a random collective love reading. This reading is for the collective so it's not going to resonate with all of you. Um, please just take what does resonate and leave what doesn't okay. And thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. Everybody has been so awesome really for real we are growing this channel together guys um, no one here is in this alone man uh, we've all suffered our heartbreak and we're getting through this journey together I so love that yes I love you guys thank you so much for everything you do that helps this channel grow alright so let's get into it um, these are the cards that plopped out these two came out together um, I feel like there's a person from your past here who is pretty much um, very nostalgic, going over old fond memories of you guys, right? Um, when they offered you this cup of love, I feel like they extended their cup and then they pulled it back and then they turned their back on you. Um, and you know, you would have never hurt this person. You're wearing mittens here. And I think when they extended this cup of love out, you were like, really? You know, are, do you, are you really, are you sure you want to do this? This person was like maybe a little bit older than you, or you could have known this person for years and years. Um, you might not have even seen this person for like the last four years or something, right? But this is a definite, I feel, soulmate connection here with this two, these two cups standing out. Um... And my eye is drawn to this big X here, which is a 10, and that means a completion. I, I sort of feel like, um, and it's etched in stone. I feel like this journey between you two um, really is a part of fate. I feel like you guys um, could be past life soul, a past life soulmate connection. And this is part of your fate. Everything that went down between you two um, I feel was meant to teach you guys lessons and have you learn from those lessons you know and um, and ascend yeah that's what I'm feeling here you could have known this person like your whole life you could have children with this person even Yeah, but I think I think this part of your journey, this journey between you guys was faded for some reason. I'm feeling that. Um, your person, I feel, followed someone else right out into the cold. Out into, um, it could be a poverty-stricken situation. Um, they could be suffering some health issues. They're having a hard time moving forward with anything right now because they're really just hobbling around. Okay? Um, and kind of hobbling around and struggling in whatever area, you know, it could be financial, it could be just feeling left out in the cold and alone away from their soulmate here, you know, but yeah, I feel like they followed someone else and it took them down a really dark path, um, with a possible queen of swords, um, possible air sign here. Um, and they, they're just kind of giving to this person and supporting them, I feel. Um, and they're getting annoyed by it. If you look at their look on their face, they're very annoyed by this. I feel like this Queen of Swords maybe, you know, it's almost like they're, they're, they're working and doing all this stuff for this person, maybe providing for them. And your person wants to walk away from that situation. Um... Yeah, because all they're doing is just providing and, and investing everything that they can. Not just money, but time, energy, patience, um, even love. This is just investing, but this is a, a lot of money here. It is. And I feel like they really are truly getting annoyed by this. And this Queen of Swords just, you know, they've got their hand out. They could be um, very, like, harsh with their words here. 
they could talk to your person very very poorly okay you could be dealing with the Virgo they've got a choice they need to make this person knows it they know they've got to make a decision here and they've got to um, communicate their truth and this is something that they've been sitting on for a while thinking about for it could be an undetermined amount of time with the hermit here how oh they wish they could speak their truth they wish because I feel like they've got something to say to you and I feel like they've got something to say to this Queen of Swords and I feel like this Queen of Swords um, is blocking them from you she's kind of like right in the middle here but um, yeah this person is trying to figure out I, I don't know if they're trying to figure out what they want or how to speak their truth maybe how they're gonna boss up here I feel like you person watching they see as the Queen of Pentacles energy yeah they see as the Queen of Pentacles which means you're extremely abundant uh, this is the most financially stable queen in the whole entire deck and that's your energy I feel but it's like look at the way you're looking down at this pentacle with that dropped hand it, I really feel a sadness off of this queen like I've got this pentacle I've got this new beginning I've got my financial stability but it's like there's something missing you know what I mean but you're um, you're moving forward you're even though you've got like a just a twinge of sadness about you I feel and it, like you're looking behind you like is my person coming is my person coming do you see because you really I feel like you don't want to leave them behind in the last cycle right I feel like you know that they're going through a difficult time here that they want to walk away from and um, I feel like that's what it is that you're missing and you're looking back to see if they're you know are they are they gonna show up are they gonna show up you know that kind of thing but you're still moving forward yeah you know you're gonna move forward without them here is what I'm seeing and that's where this twinge of sadness comes from but you are very emotionally stable here very financially stable here um, this new cycle is going to be extremely abundant. Look at all the green that's around you. You could be in the public eye totally showing yourself or putting your work out there. Um, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever special ability you have, whatever special knowledge you have, special talent you have, you're showing the world, I feel like. You're showing it to the world. Um, a lot of eyes are on you and the world also you know the universe has seen the progress you've made in yourself your healing the lessons you learned from the last cycle I mean you've really this is a lot of growing here from the especially in your person's eyes they left you when they left you you were maybe a naive they probably thought you were naive yeah they probably thought you would easily be fooled that kind of thing um, I don't know what it was that they thought definitely innocent definitely innocent here but now look at you you could be a boss business owner I mean you're you're doing incredible things and making incredible progress for yourself um, for all eyes to see I feel like um, but there's that twinge of sadness there. Um, I feel like this is your person's energy, though, because they're sad, too. Maybe that's what I'm feeling like. They see you moving forward. This is you moving on without them. And they, I feel like they know you're kind of taking a look back. You know what I mean? And it's it's very painful for for your person they're in a lot of pain over this because seriously they they made a poor decision followed someone else um, into a bad situation but they can't stop thinking about you and they're with a queen of swords energy here which means they're probably getting a lot of backlash for that you know 
Um, they're being spoken to pretty poorly here. Let me flip my deck over. I think I'm holding it wrong. Yeah, and now they're up at night thinking about this, thinking about how you're moving on. You're moving on, you're moving forward without them. And, and you don't need anyone either. You're very financially secure and um, you're divinely led. So yeah, I feel like your person, your person, they're, they're completely trapped in their mind about this and you and where they're stuck. They feel stuck. They do. I don't know. I feel like maybe they just feel the, the responsibilities for this person, um, this Queen of Swords. And they may even be very intimidated by this Queen of Swords, you know. They may um, have a controlling nature when it comes to you. But they know they're very sad because this situation with this Queen of Swords here, wherever they are, they could have like really put everything that they had into this for a good six or seven years. You know, really worked hard at it. You know, I mean, look at how this person slumped over over his this, you know, they're sad too. Look, they've got the same look on their face as you do. You're both feeling that sadness, I feel. They put their work into something that isn't panning out. It's not giving them what they expected, okay? So now they're going to, it's they're unable to reap any kind of benefit here. So now all they've got left now is this one pentacle. And they're just, they're, they're sad. I feel like um, there's thoughts of you definitely up all night, worried, sad grief-stricken, painful thoughts, and here you are. You've got this pentacle. You're sitting on your throne here in, in a really good financial state, facing a brand new cycle that's going to be awesome, and you know it, but yet there's this sadness, the same kind of look that you have. I feel like you guys are mirroring each other. I really do. I haven't said that for a while. This person wants to come in and apologize. They want to reunite with you. They want to put work into this with you. I feel this determination off of your person. You could be dealing with a cancer. You could be a cancer. But somebody is riding in here for a victory. Um, this is a reunitement card. This is wanting to um, build something solid, a commitment they want to apologize, tell you how they feel about you. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Apologize for the use of their wand, perhaps. Maybe they used you in the past and then juggled you with someone else. This Queen of Swords. Yeah. I feel like they used you and then juggled you around. And it's like... You have to move forward. What else are you going to do? You know? Even though you're a bit sad that you're leaving them behind, what else are you going to do? This person gave you nothing, I, I feel, except for sadness and, and heartache and betrayal. But they're, they're flying in fast to talk to you. You could be dealing with a, an Aquarius or an air sign. They're flying in really fast to talk. Yeah. All right, what else can you show me here for the person watching? It's a very lazy day today, I've got to say. And I'm actually really loving it. I'm just all cozy, you know, at my table. And it's a rainy kind of day outside. It's nice. Yeah, they want this new beginning with you. This could also be someone who's been giving so much to someone else. That they barely have anything left. 
You know, this could be robbing Peter to pay Paul, all worried, coming towards you maybe, because you're holding the pentacle here. Um, there's judgment on this situation. Everything is coming to light for your person. They know you hold the bag. They know that you are, um, you're like, you're the diamond, you're the treasure. And I feel like they're coming your way very, very quickly. But the divine is watching this person. They've got to be honest with you here. You know, they've been in stagnancy for so long that they're upset. They don't want to miss this opportunity with you yet. They're upset because nothing is going their way. And they're coming straight to you, but all I'm seeing is pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. So be careful. I think this person, um, he, you know, they're, they're looking at your light, yes, but part of that light is the shine off of all of your coin. And they're, they're just realizing now that you were the total package is really what I'm feeling. Like, they know they walked away from the soulmate connection for this third party. This is someone kind of being poopy about it, right? They're, like, having a little fit. Things didn't go their way in the third party situation. And the divine is trying to give them this love here, but they're, they're, it's almost like they're in their ego. They're in their ego. Maybe they expected you to come towards them. And you're not. Maybe they um, are upset because you're. They gave all their money away to this Queen of Pentacles situ or Queen of Swords situation, and you're the one now who's wealthy. Maybe that's what it is. They're very upset. Clarify that. Clarify the Three of Cups. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. This person wants to get together with you. Okay. They want to get together with you. They're two of cups. Remember, these two of cups popped out at me. They're coming towards you. You guys may be just a little bit older now. Maybe it's been years since. It could have been years since you've seen this person. Years. I feel like you've both changed a lot. I do. So, okay, I get it. I get what they're saying. This person is possibly already the King of Pentacles energy. And that means they may be an earth sign, but that means they're good with their money already. They're also very financially stable. Now we have a match. The King to the Queen of Pentacles, right? They don't want you for your money. They want you for love. Boom. They want you for love. And the divine has watched to make sure they want you for love. They can't forget about wanting this love with you. They can't. And they want it back. This person's getting ready to approach. And they're, you know what, the king of pentacles, they're already financially stable. They don't need your money. They want you. They want you. They want you, person watching, this person in particular, they want you, not for their money. They followed someone out, out in the cold, yeah. But I feel like this person just feels broken because this Queen of Swords breaks them down verbally. Maybe very intimidating, very cold energy, breaking them down mentally, right? But you know what? I feel like their pentacles are fine, enough to give to others, especially with the king of pentacles out here. I feel like their finances are fine, just like yours. You both seem set. And together, I feel like you could be um, like a power couple here. Very financially stable. This person's coming towards you not for money. They've got money. They're coming to you for love. They're going to be reaching out to you very, very soon, person watching. So be on the lookout. This person wants your love. 
All right. Well, anyway, person watching, that's what I got for this little reading. Um, I hope this does help. Um, I do hope it helps. Remember, though, this person is, I feel like they are giving to someone else here. Um, this Queen of Swords, which they want to walk away from, but I don't feel they have yet. So just be aware of that. All right. And um, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. And until next time, person watching, take care of you and peace out.